This is a really unique idea. And I get to introduce you to my friends. Ginger Wald is back. How are yes, you? Yes, hi. Good to Great see to see you, lovey. Uh, she's an <laughs> exterior designer. Yes. Kind of like an interior designer that is never allowed in the house. Uh, <laughs> these, <laughs> these are fake rocks. Right. But they, they serve look, a purpose. They look very realistic. Mm -hmm. And I've got two sizes. This is the medium size. Mm -hmm. And then we have a small. The small sold out. You brought these to us for the first time last year. I did. And back in July, the small ones were gone very, very quickly. It's $41 for the small ones. For the bigger one, it's $81. And these are made out of a composite structure. They look like they would weigh a ton. They do. Now listen, they've got some heft to them. They're not paper mache. No, that one is actually seven and a half pounds. It is made to be durable. Although it's hollow, it's it's a workhorse in your garden right. to cover up those unsightly things like what you just showed underneath there. We all, we all have, have things those, to hide. We all have those tree stumps. We all have those wheel, uh, those uh, wells, you know, covers that you want to cover up. That's, yep. This is made so that the wind will not blow this over. We have two color choices. We have the gray in both of those different sizes. Uh -huh. And then we also have the tan that is available as well. Now what we've done with these is we made it look like a real rock. A real rock is not one solid color. Right. It is a gradient of color <laughs> and it has different texture to it as well. It is going to be completely hollow so that you can cover those things like electrical little um, places, you know, things in your yard which you would normally probably trip over or, or putting or underneath your sprinkler yep. or hit with a mower. Um, let's kind of go down here. I'm going to show you some other I, things I too. I was impressed at how they were molded. Well, that's the thing, yes. And the yes. way in which they were painted, they're, they're very well done. That's they are one. very well done. If Even you wait, the small is gonna be gone quickly. This is the medium size one. It's made to hold weight to, not that you would really stand on it, but you don't. You have to know the composite of this okay. is super, super durable. And it's also made so that it doesn't blow over. It has that, you don't have to stake this down, yep. which is so fantastic. You can even drill a hole through it if you wanna put things um, like through it. If you have your hose that you want to put underneath, lift that one up too. I want to just show you what's it, underneath there. It drives there. me nuts, by the way. Uh, this you, drives me nuts too. And manage, they always put them in the front yes, of the house yes. where you, you have to cover it yard, with everything. Try to make it look its best. Oh, that's a great idea. And there's idea. that hose. That hide you the can garden kinda, hose? Yeah, you can hide okay. the garden hose. So you can drill a hole through this. It won't hurt it. If you want to put an electrical like outlet underneath there, if you want to put your hose through it, you can certainly do that if you want to. We all have those things around our garden right. that we want to hide because they're unsightly. Something that you can also do with this is you can put it in your landscape. Here you can see the before and after covering something close to the house that just, it's, it's an eyesore, but you need to be able to see it to get to it, right? Mm -hmm. You have to know where it is. You don't want to cover it with any sort of plants, but you maybe have to get to it. This is a great way to cover it, make it look beautiful, make it look like it's part of your landscape, like somebody paid a fortune to come in and put these big boulders in if you want Rock, to cover those electrical are they are so oh. expensive Last covering your sprinkler heads your electrical outlets your drain tiles your vent, vent pipes pipe. yep. right septic cleanouts how about that in each sort of a tree stump that maybe you can't get down and kind of cover up look at this we all have that. We, I mean, and so by the many way, people we've all here. tried to paint those darn things green. It doesn't hide them. It doesn't yeah. hide them. You can also cover them with some of the plants, but then in the winter time, those plants die, and then you still have it. How about hiding? I know we always talk about keys. You know, if you want to leave like a little key to something. I don't think you that's know, a bad idea. Right, and you can hide it underneath this. If you shove that mulch right up to it, it looks like it is an actual boulder. Uh, yeah covering all sorts of things underneath there that you can hide, that you don't have to stow away in your garage. And it's made out of that durable fiberglass composite, and it's also made to look like a real rock. The, the big ones, $81, they're almost two feet from, from front to back. The overall height on these is 14 inches. Yes. The smaller one is going to be about 15 inches 
from front to back, and that's going to be a about little bit shorter, and a half. about yeah. 10 and a half inches. Mm -hmm. 10 and a half, and, that's, and that's a lighter weight, that's about four pounds. Let's look into the back, because these are those, those landscape lights, okay. or landscape um, uh, rocks that people use, uh, or the Hollywood has used, actually, in, in their, you know, because they're not going to move these big boulders and uh -huh. put them onto the set. So here you can see, if you put that mulch right up to, it doesn't even look like it is a faux rock. It looks like it's a real rock. It is UV protected as well. So the color that you see, nice. the gradients of color in each one of them is going to stay for years and years to come. This one is the gray choice and this one is the tan choice. And it also has a little bit of the gray in. This has a little bit of, you know, the, like a marbleizing little look to it as well. So mix and match if you want to. Sure. Because then that way it really does kind of blend into your landscape. You can put your Robertas and Cottage Farms, even if you don't have something that you want to cover. Put it Just in your landscape. Architectural with your, interest. Exactly. Give it height. Give it dimension. It looks so we, we pretty. We have a, a quarry that's not too far from our farm. And last year... Uh, we had to put a new bridge in over the creek because the, the old bridge washed away. Yes. So I had to buy boulders. And they had to bring them in by truck. I was flabbergasted yes. at how expensive rocks Tell can be. Tell you what, they can be absolutely a fortune. Yep. And then once you place them, you can't move them. <laughs> yeah, that, that's true. I mean, you've really got to make a commitment. Yeah. This is one of those pieces that you can put it around, you can move it around in your landscape, like you move your furniture. You've been to my house. I certainly what's, have. What's the first thing you notice when you come into my driveway? Uh, I thought it'd be great. I had two giant boulders put on each side of the driveway. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> first first winter there, what do you think I hit? You hit the boulder. Both of them. <laughs> Both of them. Oh, you did? Nice. Yeah. It was icy, <laughs> and I'm coming home from...